So, I just wanted to talk about something pretty cool. Now, if you guys don't know or if you guys weren't yet a part of my channel back then, I actually made a bunch of videos trying to grind Alucard. And after a bunch of grinding sessions, we did get to part 4. And I eventually quit it because Paragon got too hard. But as you guys can see right now, we do have Alucard. By the way, guys, our ultimate goal for this channel is to reach 50k subscribers before or by the end of this year. And one of our milestones is 40k subscribers, which when we reach 40k subscribers, we are going to be doing a bunch of giveaways. All you really have to do in order to be part of this giveaway is to like and subscribe and join our Discord down below. So do that right now. Be part of this giveaway and let's get this video started. So I finally got Alucard after I think about 500 plus something thousand gems spent and when we stopped the video I think we were around 400 something like that. Now um, just to be perfectly clear with you guys uh, I did spend a lot of gems um, during the update 1 release trying to get Gojo, trying to get Sukuna, trying to get all these other units and how I essentially got Alucard is I was trying to go for a shiny Sukuna unit because again I was trying to go for shiny Itadori to maybe eventually showcase Sukuna shiny when you know he releases because I wanted to have something like that because I do have Monarch Gojo but I don't have a Monarch Itadori so maybe what about instead of Monarch we get a shiny Sukuna so I tried to do it I tried to roll for a shiny Sukuna however what I ended up getting was an Alucard that's what I ended up getting and I'm just gonna show you guys my reaction to that as well before we move on with this video oh! Jeez, jeez, we finally did it. Our oh boy Alucard is finally here, and we got Sasuke and Choso as well. And Choso isn't even in the banner. Yo, jeez, yo, look at that. Jeez, my jeez. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, bros. I, that was so unexpected. Now that that is done, uh, I think I did, did not record me uh, evolving this unit. Yeah, I think I did not record. But I was actually quite surprised at how useful Alucard is, especially in tournaments. And by the way, Alucard is still a very meta unit. Like a lot of people probably don't think he's that good. But I do think that a lot of you guys are forgetting that one of his abilities, which is this right here, attacks inflict, uh, inflict bleed equal to 25% of this unit's damage. And then this one right here, enemies that enter this unit's range while bleeding will be afflicted with wounds. Enemies afflicted with wounded take plus 20% more damage, which by the way is one of the most overpowered abilities or passives in the game. A lot of people think that Alucard is bad, but just because he has really bad damage doesn't mean that he's a bad unit because where he really does excel at is basically um, getting damage and basically getting buffs. And if you guys go check out other YouTube's uh, you know, videos, um, one of the guy that I really like um i don't really watch uh tournament stuff that much but this guy right here his name is pippin and i've been watching and talking to him on discord as well talking about uh st strats on uh tournaments and if you guys watch his video um he does really he does do really well in tournaments and whatever whatnot but um one thing that i really noticed with him is that in a lot of his videos or in a lot of his strats he actually does bring um alucard right here for example in one of his uh, this is the first tournament that he had um, he brought alucard and even in his the latest strat that he actually did made um he did bring alucard as well because alucard is very good in um in the in these areas in these scenarios now in the last tournament he didn't really bring alucard but in most of the tournaments there is uses for alucard so actually in one of his strats he did bring alucard and i believe that you know you could probably find a game winning strat with alucard but yeah alucard is one of those meta units that's actually really really good and he has one of the first one of the earlier area one of the earliest full area of effects in the game and while i do not really have a good trait on him um let's be all bigger but um he is very good you know he is a very genuinely good unit and i'm really happy that i got him because he is really required in a lot of these areas and i'm actually going to try him out in this area right here which is challenges i'm gonna try and show you guys what he can do so again he is quite expensive but that's doesn't but that doesn't really matter that much because again once you place him he is one of the earliest full area of effect units in the game 
And on top of that, he does do bleed, which is crazy overpowered. Um, I wouldn't really say that he's, you know, one of the strongest units in the game. I would say he's probably one of the best supports, if not the best support. Um, when I say that he's a very powerful unit, I would say it's a case-on-case -case basis. There's some areas where he will really excel, like in tournaments, he's pretty good. Infinite, he's pretty good. Paragon, very good as well. But is he the best, strongest unit in the game? If you're looking for a support unit, I would say that he's probably the best support unit in the game because his bleed, which is a support thing, is very good. And on top of that, also his um, other passive, which is Wounded, another very overpowered passive. I would say he's pretty much the best support in the game. But um, I don't know, it depends on you guys. But to me, for me, he is one of the best units in the game. Like He's definitely one of the most powerful units in the game. One of the best units in the game, in my opinion. And I'm really happy that I got him. Now, obviously, um, let's just place him down here for the laughs. Obviously, he's not really that good when the enemies ha have shields. Um, Toji is obviously going to be your shield breaker. Um, he's not really going to be a shield breaker of sorts. But with um, with him, he does do the bleed, which is very useful. I think it's more useful in Paragon stages, but I really want to do the challenges, which is why I showcased him here. Again, that bleed is very useful, although it's not going to be that useful here because the enemies have shields, which is more like a Toji thing. A Toji thing. But again, um, I think we'll be able to showcase some characteristics of him later. Again, apart from all the passive stuff that he has, his ability to have a very early area of effect is actually very overpowered. And I'm gonna try and show that here once I have enough gold for that. Alright, so right here, just around wave 10, you can actually see right here that he does have a very full er, early, or er, uh, sorry, full air effect very early on, which a lot of people think is bad because, you know, it's not really high in damage, not very high in damage, but... This full area of effect ability is very useful because again, he can kill a lot of units very quickly. I believe it's also multi-hit. I'm Yeah, let me see if it's multi-hit. Yeah, it's not multi-hit. Or it is multi-hit. I see him hit some shields in the back there multiple times. But again, the reason why this is very important is because this area of effect right here, full AoE, will hit basically a lot of the enemies. And every enemy that it hits will get bleed and that will basically cancel their regen. And once their regen is canceled out, um, other units like Gojo can basically just one-shot them or and any unit that you have that has Monarch can one-shot them and can do a lot more damage. Because again, bleed, in my opinion, is super hard to handle. Sorry, regen is super hard to handle without bleed. And there's not that many good bleed units in the game. Um, so I think having Alucard be a bleed unit and with the passive that he has, it just makes him a very strong unit. A lot of people just look at his damage and think, oh my god, this unit is bad. But if you took, take a look at his um, his you know passives, you will realize that he is anything but bad. Bro, his passives are OP. The fact that he's full AoE very early, um, his passives very overpowered. And yeah, um, he is very hard to get. A lot of people think he's bad because of his damage, but no, 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 no. His passives is basically what makes him pretty much the strongest pass, uh, strongest support unit in the game. I wouldn't say he's the strongest unit in the game because he's not a damage unit, but I would say that he's probably one of the most important units in the game. I think if you want to get into Paragon leaderboards, you need to have an Alucard. If you want to get into Infinite leaderboards, you need to get an Alucard because um, his damage buff and his ability to do bleed is very important in a lot of those game modes. In tournaments, you might also need Alucard. So that's one of the reasons why I think Alucard is one of the most important units in the game. He's not, I wouldn't say he's the most important or the most meta unit in the game. But I would definitely say that he's one of the best units in the game. He's a meta unit in terms of passive and his use case and his importance in some other game modes. So yeah, I'm very happy that I finally, finally got Alucard. Um... Yeah, I'm very happy that I finally got him. This, what's happening here? Why are these guys right here not getting killed? So, I need to actually wreck him. One shot him, maybe. No, 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 yeah. So, let's get this guy over with. Um, yeah, we finally finished him. And yeah, there you go. So, very cool that this unit right here is finally in my possession. I'm super happy that I got him. And yeah, hope you guys get him too eventually. Anyways. Anyways guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to like and subscribe. And to end off this video, we are going to reroll on our Alucard right here. 
I am trying to get at least a mythic trait on him and Swift is honestly not that bad. That's pretty decent. Anyways, really, really like that I got Alucard. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and sub. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.